next problem is we have to find the uh, equivalent resistance of the circuit. So as you can see, we uh, have parallel circuit dito. Okay? We have 2 ohms, 1, 6. Okay? Tapos, naka parallel sa 3 and 4. Tapos, 4, 5, and 6. Kapag kumukuha tayo ng equivalent resistance, usually ang ginagamit natin equations dyan is yung uh, equivalent resistance equation natin. Uh, for two resistor, that is R equivalent is equal to, for example, we have A and B resistors. A, RA times RB over RA plus RB. Ayan. So, useful ito uh, sa pag kuha ng equivalent resistance or pag-simplify ng mga circuits natin. We can use that equation for two resistors at a time. So, pwede din natin gabitin yan dito sa problem na to. So, kapag nag-solve tayo ng problems like this, um, it's better na mag-office tayo sa right side, itong sa dulo. Okay, doon natin isa-simplify hanggang makuha natin yung R equivalent. So, ang first step natin is to redraw the circuit. Okay, so kung mag-start tayo dito sa dulo, itong linya na to, or itong wire na to, ito, si 4, 5, and 3 are in series. Na nakaparallel kay 4. So, first we have to get, uh, or redraw the circuit na papakita natin na na, simplify na natin, si 4 plus 5 plus 3, which is, that is 12. Okay, redraw natin yung circuit. One, two, isa pa. Okay. Tapos. So, this is R equivalent. Okay, R equivalent. And this is 4 plus 5. Plus 3 is 12 ohms. Okay. Then, copy na natin si 4. Nandun pa rin si 3. Hindi pa natin ginagalaw yan. And the rest of the resistors in the circuit. And afterwards, ito na. So, pwede na natin gamitin. Kasi meron na tayong parallel circuit dito. Okay. Ito. I mean parallel resistors. Itong dalawang to, these are parallel. So, pwede natin kunin yung Rx. So, Rx is equal to you can write that as Rx which is uh, equal to 4 4 times 12 over 4 plus 12. So, that is 3 ohms. And then, i-write din na, uli natin yung ating circuit. Pero actually, kahit hindi na kayo mag-redraw or, uh, I mean, mag-redraw ng circuit. But, for discussion purposes, i-redraw siya. At maganda kasi hindi na-draw yung siya, masusubaybayan mo kung ano na yung mga, or itsura ng circuit mo. Para malaman mo kung mag apply ka pa ng parallel or series uh, formula sa mga resistors natin. So, ito, Rx. Okay, so, itong 4 and 12, pinag-isa na natin siya. Lagay ko Rx, which is 3 ohm. 3 ohms. And then, si, ito, okay, that is 3. Tapos, nandun pa rin si 3 ohms sa taas, 6 ohm. 2 ohms at saka 1 ohm. And then R equivalent ulit dito. Ayan. Okay. R, R equivalent. Okay. And then, after nito, makikita mo na naman series, meron tayong series, C3, 3 at saka C3 ulit. Okay. Ito. So, that is 6. Okay. Na parallel ulit kay 6 ohm resistor. So, redraw ulit natin si circuit natin. So, ganyan siya. So, 
So, again, ito 3, 3 plus 3. So, lalagay na natin siyang 6. And then, uh, parallel kay 6 ohm. And then, nandun pa rin si 2. And 1. This is our equivalent. Ayan. So, ag ulit. Ulit na naman tayo to apply the uh, R equivalent for two resistors na parallel. So, R equivalent or XY na to, RY. So, this is RY is equal to okay, 6 times 6, 6 plus 6. So, that is 3 ohms resistor. So, re-redraw natin uli yung ating circuit. So, puro redraw, redraw lang tayo dito. Okay. So, meron tayo dito 3 ohms. Mamaya. And then, this is 2 and this is 1. So, this is 3. Or, this is RY. 3 ohms. Tapos, ito ay 2. Okay. 2, pinatira. And then, 1. The R equivalent. So, ang R equivalent natin is 2 plus 1 plus 3 plus 1. This is in ohms. So, R equivalent is 6 ohms. So, this is our answer. Our final answer is the equivalent resistance of the circuit is 6 ohms. 6 ohms.